5.30, ready to fly. The Obama administration just gave businesses the green light to fly small drones. Now, the FAA made some new rules, but for the most part, operators will be able to fly drones without any special permission. Officials at Massport, they're concerned about that. And as David Robichaud shows us, they want to make Logan a no-drone zone. Jovan Tanasiewicz has been operating his aerial photography business for three years, capturing breathtaking views for various clients. Mainly real estate, but have been uh, reality TV shows, uh, segments for nonprofits, and uh, sports. He's always obeyed the basic rules fly below 400 feet, always have line of sight of his drone, and don't fly over crowds. But he's happy with the new FAA regulations for commercial drones. They include having to register their aircraft with the FAA and get certified every two years. Positive light from the FAA. They're really trying to facilitate this rather than hinder the process. But safety comes before commerce because we want to make sure we have a, a safe airport and, you know, safe flights for everybody. In just the past month, Massport has placed more than 60 no-drone zone signs on their property within a five-mile radius of Logan. Between last August and February of this year, seven pilots reported seeing a drone as they approached or left Logan. But nationwide, sightings increased more than 500 percent between 2014 and 2015. We have a very elaborate program to control for birds, and really drones, you know, fall in the same category it can be catastrophic if you know somebody uh, gets a drone in the way of an aircraft as it's taking off improve the economy while keeping people in the air and the ground safe now let's see if it will fly in boston david robichaud wbz news well, those new regulations could help the economy soar. Experts estimate the new drone rules could generate more than $82 million for the U.S. economy and create 10,000 jobs over the next 10 years. 